Good morning. Today is going to be a special video, one that I've been thinking about for a long time on how to do it right, and we'll see if we can get it in a way that's going to really help a lot of you guys. This is the loadouts video. You get to see all the cool gadgets and stuff that I carry with me. Uh, cameras, backup stuff for the cameras, a broom, what's in the cooler, what kind of alcohol and illegal drugs I carry around. And hope, I guarantee there's going to be at least one thing in here that you do not carry in your loadout. Probably several things. And there's a couple of things that are duplicated here. I'll explain why. A couple of different versions of things. I'm recording with a GoPro Hero 4, which is uh, the black version. Uh, this is the GoPro brand remote which is very helpful. It has a long range. It has all the data that's on the screen of your camera to show you the time. You know, we're at a minute, three seconds right now, battery life, all that stuff. Very handy. Uh, what I used to use, and I still use as a backup, and I still use for some different shots, are just an iPhone. Uh, regular iPhone uh, 7 Plus. I've used my old iPhone 5. Uh, which is really helpful with iPhones. If you're on a budget, you probably already have a smartphone, especially if you're lucky enough to be one of the Apple people instead of one of those hipsters that use an Android phone, whatever the hell those things are. Uh, you, it's very easy because you can get a, a really cheap Bluetooth shutter that will start and stop recording, even from a distance, from a reasonable distance, Bluetooth distance, which is about 33 feet. And... You can get, uh, right now I'm using a, uh, well, GoPros come with basically a fisheye lens. They're pretty much have a, a, you know, their wide angle lenses are pretty much fisheye. They're pretty much, um, uh, you can select the field of view, but for iPhones, you don't have that ability, but they, you, for a couple bucks, I mean, maybe 10, 12 bucks, you can get a set of clip on lenses that clip onto your iPhone. That will give you fish eye and wide angle and stuff like that. It really improves the quality of your shots. Uh, for my iPhone 7 Plus, I'm using a Z Tylus. I don't know how you would pronounce that. Z-T-Y-L-U-S. And it's, uh, it's a case, a very nice case. And it has a screw-on kind of set of lenses that flip out and very high quality. It was kind of expensive. I think retail, it was like 70 bucks, but I got it on Amazon deal for like 25 bucks or something like that. It's, it's really high quality. Uh, the Bluetooth shutter that I recommend for iPhones is made by H I S Y. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's hotel Indigo Sierra yellow and uh they're about 15 bucks 17 bucks very good range very high quality i've already broken one of them i probably fell on it but i bought another one because they're really good quality and nothing else is that good uh i'm gonna go through all sorts of stuff here this is gonna be a pretty long video so settle in or watch what you can now and check it out later uh, we got a little off topic, or we know we're still on the topic of cameras. Um, as far as Apple Watch, I really like the Apple Watch. It works as a photo shutter in the native iPhone camera app, but it will not start and stop video. It used to, then Apple disabled the feature. Don't know why. For GoPro, it does work. It will start and stop video. It acts a little wonky. I don't know that I trust it that well. I prefer this remote for a lot of reasons, but. It works, it's kind of nice. Um, I like the Apple Watch also because it's pretty convenient when you're connected to the One Wheel app to be able to check your battery life, check what mode you're in, check your speed if you're careful, be really careful because when you're looking at your watch, you're really not looking where you're going. Uh, so that I'd be careful about that. The uh, So this is gonna be a neat trick. Uh, it's We're gonna do a little reality bending here uh, because it's important enough for you. I kind of want you to see how I'm doing the camera setup. So check this out. I'm going to show you the GoPro Hero 4 Black that we're recording with. Yeah. How does it, I don't know how to do that again. Oh, I think I would use that magic word or something. Oh no, there we go. Okay. So this is the camera GoPro Hero 4. Pretty standard. I'm using the actual GoPro brand 
uh, selfie stick. Now you'd say, why would this guy, who's pretty notoriously cheap, spend $70 on a selfie stick? I wouldn't. That's retarded. I got this used off Craigslist. I got the camera with the, uh, the LCD touch backpack and the selfie stick for like 350 bucks with a bunch of accessories with this, which is like 70 bucks. And, uh, it, so it, that, that's the thing. Everybody buys GoPros. Everybody thinks they're going to be the next sports hero, sports star or whatever action sports star, or they're going to use it all the time for vacations and the kids and whatever. Nobody does. So no point in buying them new. Eventually I may end up with a hero five or six because I do use it a lot. And then it'll probably sit in my closet when I break enough bones that I don't do this anymore. And then I'll sell it to somebody else on Craigslist. So as you may have figured out, I wasn't actually using the GoPro Hero 4. I'm using my iPhone because it has a computer, it has a uh, aftermarket app called Movie Pro that allows you to use Bluetooth device for sound recording. So that works out a lot better for this. And I can show the GoPro Hero 4 that I have actually been using for recording. Apple AirPods, freaking wonderful. I would not want to be riding around with cords hanging off of my ears. Uh, the bone conduction crap, it sounds horrible. Um, I hear well enough people around me. I don't play my music that loud in my ears, especially if I'm in traffic and you can always take them off with the AirPods. You can take one off. You don't have to use both. The AirPods are wonderful for a lot of reasons. The range is fantastic. They're just worth every penny. They're expensive. They're Apple, whatever, but they, they work great. Before we get off of the topic of camera and audio stuff, now the backpack, the backpack, this backpack is a little extra heavy today because I have some things duplicated, but backpack is essential. You can configure it all sorts of ways, um, but most backpacks are laid out in a similar setup, so you'll you'll see kind of how I have mine laid out. This is an Oakley brand backpack, so of course they give you a sunglasses compartment. This for me is my video accessories compartment. So I have a little, um, uh, like a cleaning cap. Uh, it's a uh, cover thing. It came with my lens kit for my iPhones, but it fits perfectly over the head of the GoPro Hero 4. So I keep keep it clean, even though it's waterproof, it still needs to be cleaned. So better just cover it and never have to clean it. This is one of those kits that I was talking about. I think I got it for like six bucks off Amazon. And these little lenses clip onto your iPhone. Dirt cheap, great quality. And they come in a little carry bag or whatever. They work great. I'm going to just start piling stuff outside here. I can put it together later. But all sorts of stuff. Um, GoPro batteries are pretty expensive from the factory. I found a set for 26 bucks, Three batteries. They're higher capacity than GoPro's batteries. And they uh, it's also it comes with the charger kit, all that. You can charge three batteries at once. pretty handy. Rubber bands, stuff like that always come in handy. If you're going to be doing action shots with your iPhone, it's good to rubber band your camera to the selfie stick really strongly so that it doesn't fall off. Don't want to bust up your iPhone if it's in a case. And now we already went through the fact that I have at least one backup camera because I have my iPhone with accessories, my GoPro Hero, you never know when both of those are going to fail or you just want to use one for music while the other one's doing video or you want to do multiple shots, which are both doing video. Neither of those then are capable of doing audio at the same time. So you need a third phone to listen to music. Uh, one of my Bluetooth shutters has a little thing to carry it to shutter with. It's not useful at all. I don't know why I carry it. Spare battery for your Bluetooth shutter. Got to have that. Spare batteries for everything. Spare, spare Bluetooth shutter because the Bluetooth shutters do fail. Like I said, I fell on mine. Little one wheel things. What the hell is that thing? Did you make that thing? How much does it cost? Here, go to one wheel, onewheel.com. Go find out. Leave me alone. I'm trying to ride here. Owner's manual to Bluetooth things. Sometimes they don't really work that well. I got to go research the manual. Batteries for different types of Bluetooth shutters. Spare, spare, spare Bluetooth shutter. Because, like I said, they're not that reliable. I've got at least three of them here. And carabiners, spare carabiners, all that extra stuff. You know, I am like the Boy Scout, always prepared. 
You know what? It's going to take too long to put that stuff away. All right. Carabiners. My hat goes on here when I'm done writing. The hat actually has a secret. Part of the reasons I stay so cool, I don't look like I stay cool. I sweat like a pig. Ice pack in the hat. All right. One side is um, electronic type stuff. One side is medical type stuff. I got that backwards. This is medical type stuff. I don't normally carry this with me, but it's so handy. I wanted to put it in loadouts. This actually usually sits at home by my shoes. Shoehorn. I did not think I would be the old man that uses a shoehorn, but it's pretty handy because let's go on topic of shoes. I like, I usually wear kind of lower mid top bands for everything. Even as my dress shoes, if you get solid all black shoes, they look good. I'll wear them with a nice pair of jeans or even uh, dress pants and go out in them. Yeah, I, I have no fashion sense, but I'm comfortable and I think I look good. Um, I recommend as far as shoes, Vans, high tops, because your wheel will rub on your foot if you don't have high top. Also, and we're talking about ankle bite pre prevention here, so high top shoes. Shoehorn helps. Vans with zippers help. So you can get in and out easier. And then you don't even have to unlace your shoes. It's kind of a pain in the ass to unlace your shoes. So I can jump in and out of my shoes without lacing them with the combined use of a shoehorn and a zipper. All right. Uh, there's plenty of topics on shoes. So these are toe caps. If you bust your toe up, bruise it. Um, these are called Zen toes, I think. I got them off Amazon when I hurt my toe. You cover your toe with it, put your toe back in the shoe. Eh, it, it, it's not all that great. It works okay. Um, spare watch band, case of watch band breaks. Band-aids, basically first aid kit. We don't need to get too much into that. Everybody can have their own first aid kit. Um, while we're on the subject of injured toes, this is something that I think girls use to put in between their toes when they do like toe stuff or whatever. Or, actually, I think I got this from my daughter because... Uh, she does ice skating, and when they hurt their feet, they put this as a cushion inside their ice skates uh, to prevent blisters. Works great for me, too. Uh, when your shoes, your feet are hurting inside your shoes, put that in there, cushions it up a little bit. So devise your own little tiny medical kit, a little bit of antibiotic ointment, that sort of thing. Very helpful. The other side pocket, car key, AirPods case. Now, here's some pretty fun stuff. I'll try to put links to some of these in the kit or in the uh, comments. Uh, phone cord, obviously. I usually have a battery pack in here, but that's now moved to the GoPro accessories. Little Swiss Army knife. Um, tire pressure gauge. Uh, this gauge is like 15 years old. I got it at Radio Shack. Remember those? Radio Shacks were awesome. Uh, they still make this exact same one. I'd like to find one that's a lot smaller. This is all wasted space. I've taken it apart. Really, it's tiny. And I'd like to find one this tiny. If anybody finds one, let me know. I'll put it in the links. This is an um, asthma inhaler. No, it looks like one. But this is actually a tire pump. It's super tiny. Look at the size of this thing. It's freaking awesome. Uh, there's like 13 bucks on Amazon. Uh, 50 pumps gives you, I think, nearly a little over half a PSI. 100 pumps gives you, I think, almost two PSI. Um, you know, pump, pump, pump. But it works great. I use it all the time. There's no point in really carrying something bigger. I do have something bigger that I'll show you on the on the inside. Like I said, a lot of things are duplicated, but I wanted to show you everything that I've found that works well. And they're going to end up in the comments. Links, if possible. This is obviously... A broom. Uh, RV store sell them. Amazon, I'm, of course, I'm sure has them. This extends out into a full-size broom. When you get somewhere and it's covered in debris, whatever, it has come in handy lately. Clean up the concrete. Clean up the area. Right on. A towel. Most useful thing in the universe. I usually have a couple, but I couldn't fit them in the pack because I have a lot of stuff in here today. 
and uh, I'm going to skip down here so we don't get too far off topic. This is um, while we were on the topic of tires, tire gauges, things like that. I wanted an electric tire gauge. I don't know why, but I found this is the smallest, best one that I could find. It's pretty expensive. I think it's like 60 bucks. It's made by Dynaplug. It's also branded under a couple different names. But it's um, and it's just really great for your car. It's just great for your, your home. It's got a little hose. This is it. 12 volt. It has a light on it. Comes with all sorts of accessories. Connects to battery clamps. Um, I if you get a, I forget what this plug is called. If you see this connector end here, if, this is what everything's pretty much done on. If you get this end to barrel connector, then you connect it to your chafon. I brought my chafon. I'll show you that in a minute. Then you can run it portable from your chafon. You probably could make an adapter to make it run off of your carved power DC to DC, which we'll get to in a second. Let's get to that now. Those are fun. <clears throat> so I wanted to bring the chafe on for a couple reasons. For one thing, that's going to be the best option for a lot of people. If you're not really like portable out in the woods type of thing. And I wanted to show that it fits in pretty much any backpack. This is not a very big backpack. And this thing fits perfectly in the bottom. You'll see these online. You don't realize how big or small they are. There's how the size of it compared to a one wheel. There are two versions of the Chafon. One's about $100 more than the other. This is the bigger one. Um, it was kind of a waste of money. It was about $400 on Amazon. Uh, now Ian offers them at carvepower.com. He buys the slightly smaller version of this. Physically, they're the same size. By weight, they're the same size. This one just holds a little more power. And he gets them cheaper because he buys them in bulk. Actually, I'm not sure he's going to carry those anymore. But this is nice if you have use for other reasons for household reasons if you worried about power outages things like that it's powerful it's uh it's supposed to supposed to be a 500 watt inverter which should charge two one wheels at once it will not it gives an error it beeps fan goes crazy you can charge one wheel at, at a time but it should give you at least two full charges it's only about seven pounds it's pretty light but seven pounds on your back is kind of heavy um, I like it. I paid for the extra one for the $400 because I live in Florida, because power goes out all the time. And uh, this one, if you get the $400 version, it comes with the battery clamps. You can jumpstart a car with it. The $300 version does not. And Car Power, I think he had it for like $250. Bucks. He got us a good, detail, a good deal. Um, along with a towel, spare shirt, another one of the most useful things in the universe. Uh, but let's stay on the subject of power for a minute because I want you to see the difference in size. So... If you want to charge on the go, this is what you need. You need your original one-wheel charger. I think this weighs a little over a pound. And the Chafon, seven pounds. With this, you can charge. The other option is the Carve Power Setup. I threw it in a nice uh, Urban Carry holster brand bag. I'm not going to do concealed carry as part of my loadout today because I haven't found a holster I like yet. Even And concealed carry is not part of my normal loadout. That's only if I'm going somewhere sketchy. So look at the size difference here. It's a pretty big size difference. Because you need all of this to charge with a chafon. This is everything you need to charge with the car power setup that he has. And like people say on there, you don't need to buy his setup. You can save a couple bucks by ordering this and the battery and a bunch of cables and a bunch of adapters and cutting and soldering and splicing and all that. Or you pay Ian the 20 some dollars and he builds you a nice 3D printed box where everything fits. You've got a place to stow your battery plug. And this thing will give you about one charge um, my recommendation, I did not, and I regret it, is when I ordered this from him, he sells the kit with a charger, which I didn't bring because you don't need to bring it while you're portable to charge. It's about this size, and that's you leave it at home. You charge it at home. You bring this with you. You charge the one wheel. One thing I did not do is take advantage of him selling extra battery boxes. The kit was 120 bucks. You can add extra battery boxes for $10. This is about $6 worth of 
material, just material alone, that it takes to print, 3D print this box. So he's basically giving them away $4 for the electricity and the time to make it and, and to put the screws in the inserts in and assemble it and everything. It's, it's, it's a giveaway. The guy's really just basically doing a service to the community. I would have added two more, got a couple more eBay batteries, and then you could run three full charges and you still have spent less money than you spend on a Chafon. But this is quality stuff. Highly recommend this. This is one of the things I'm happiest about that we have. Um, I do have spares of pretty much everything. I just found another spare. We got way off. We're not on the subject of cameras anymore, but this is like an $8 Chinese cheap piece of crap. Good enough for a GoPro, not good enough for an iPhone. It will tilt over. These things are kind of flexible and crappy. I don't know why I bring that thing anymore. I don't use it. Uh, this is GoPro accessories. You can find your own. I found an old Nintendo DS case that holds all my GoPro accessories. And when I'm using my iPhone, sometimes if I record enough, the iPhone will run out. So... I'll plug the iPhone or the GoPro into an actual battery charger. This is just a cheap eBay battery charger. Uh, GoPro accessories. Don't need to get too much into that. You're going to find out what's best, what works best for you there. Safety gear. I recommend it, of course. I generally don't use it. I uh, can't really make any excuses there. I injured my wrist, so you've been seeing me wear a left wrist guard. Um, gloves, I like. These are just cheap mechanics gloves you can buy at Home Depot. And I like them because if you expect to maybe fall on your hands, if you've already cut your hands, or um, if you're going to be doing tricks where you grab the board, handy to have. This isn't a skateboard. You can catch edges and stuff on your hands here. And uh, we're almost getting to the end of the backpack. That's pretty quick. I didn't realize that. This backpack has a little secret compartment on the side. I keep uh, rags. Uh, paper towels, things that I, that might get dirty, uh, plastic bags to throw wet stuff in or whatever. It's, uh, you know, hopefully your backpack has some sort of compartment like that. Oh yeah, I knew what we were missing. This is important stuff. And in the front pack here, I have maintenance, other emergency type stuff. My silver handle, like I explained in my other video, I don't attach it to my board and leave it on my board because I'll bust it up. And this is a pretty nice piece here. It's durable. Not like it's that fragile, but I'm pretty rough on my stuff. My handle is nice and perfect. When I need it, it's ready. I throw it on. If I was going somewhere in the woods and I was worried about being stranded, I actually probably would put this on the board. I would probably put it on. Uh, food. You never know. Get hungry. Wax. I do curb tricks, stuff like that. Uh, I like these little curb candy wax. They're made by shorties. They come in a little pack of like six. They smell nice, which is weird, uh, useless, but um, if you only want to bring one, you want to throw it in your pocket. Very tiny, convenient. Skate wax, five bucks at your local skate shop. And I, like I said, I'm the Boy Scout. I over-prepare. I pack all sorts of stuff just in case. Sunscreen, rebottled off of an old hotel shampoo bottle. That way I don't have to carry a big thing of sunscreen around with me. Some strong sunscreen. SPF, like, 85 Makes you white, um, breath stuff, lip balm, you know, basic crap. Got some stuck in your tooth, freaking clean it out. Pens, because you never know when the college bikini squad is going to come around and need autographs or your hotel room number. You better have a pen handy. Uh, the I keep just about any tool that you could need in the field. This is the big set for the outside hub bolts. Pretty sure I got the smaller one for the small hub bolts. Plastic doggy doo-doo bags. I don't expect to be picking up doggy doo-doo, but these are just tiny plastic bags. Very handy to throw something in, cover something up with. It's just the right size to throw your cell phone in if it starts raining. If you're caught out in the rain, throw your cell phone, throw your money, throw your wallet in a doggy doo-doo bag, and good to go. Um, money. You never know. Trapped out there, stranded, get robbed. You got enough to get some gas or grab some food. Or payphone, extra shoelaces. Told you, man, I, I prepared for everything. The um, Allen wrench that goes to the carve power box. Nuts, bolts, extra board screws of all types, lengths, zip tie, the, uh, the Allen key for 
for the board, for all the board screws, uh, a tiny screwdriver that I use to replace the batteries and my Bluetooth shutters. I mean, it's all sorts of screws. It really doesn't weigh anything. You throw it in your backpack. You're probably never going to use it. Peace of mind, whatever. And the feathers, maybe I'll explain that another day. We're almost done here, really. I told you, this is going to be a long video. Um, cooler. This is a little big. I might try to find a smaller solution for all of this. But in the cooler, I've got my little ice packs that I put in my hat. Um, a big one in case I hurt myself. Maybe put on my lower back if I'm feeling a little uh, sore on the way home. A uh, big one just to keep the drinks cold. And I usually keep four bottles of water. Sometimes I'll go through all of them in a session. And I usually have a bag of fruit in here, like grapes or something. That's great because it can kind of carb you up a little bit if you get drained. That's also got vitamins in it and lots of water. So I think that's pretty much everything in the loadout. And, uh, you know, you usually see me wear pants, like I said, ankle bites, pants, socks, tall shoes, protect for ankle bites, wear your safety gear. I hope this helps. I'll try to put links to some of this stuff in the comments. Like that little tiny tire pump is going to be kind of hard to find, but it's awesome. And I hope this helps you guys gear up. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. You'll come up with, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll add things to your loadout as you find yourself lacking out in the field. So I hope this helps and have a good day.